All right, welcome back here on Quad Brave from the, well, the Crossfire Intel Challenge number seven. And it's time for some Quake Live. Yes, that is the case. It's going to be Supreme versus Reload. Reload, the, well, the player from the ET scene that just does everything that can be done. He's played for so many teams. It's absolutely ridiculous. And, of course, he exploded on the floor of this exact cafe last time around. Now, we are here on DM6. Rhea Supreme's pick. Supreme is the uh, lead, uh, the lead favorite for this particular tournament. The reload has picked up ZTM for his pick. So we'll be playing that after this. Currently, though, let's hop into it's a game and see what is going on. Supreme already in the lead. Oh, look at that rocket. And so reload picks that up as well as the mega. And so we are already a minute and a half in towards this game. The red about to be spawning, and both players are really looking forward to that rail uh, towards that red. As reload picks it up, ooh, that rocket could be a problem. As Supreme is in a superior position there, he needs to rush over direct towards that yellow. Make sure that Supreme is not in there. Here comes the rocket jump. Not gonna happen. No, he's gonna put it on instead. Does, does connect, but that yellow is now for reload. And now it's just about the item juggles and who manages to get control of the area. Now Supreme is opting for just sitting on top, but Reload has it regardless. As, uh, he's kind of hunting down Supreme at this point. Did not manage to get the red. He's quickly going for that yellow. Pick that up. Make sure that Reload's nowhere near. There he is. One rocket in the air. That rail will push you away. As the yellow has been picked up by uh, Supreme and the, uh, the scores are tied. Two to two. As Reload managed to pick it up. Oh, here we go, on the spawn! <laughs> as Reload gets com completely destroyed. He didn't have much help after that little encounter there. And well, with Supreme respawning in, in exactly the spot where he needed to be, whipped up that plasma and pounded it in there. And as uh, Reload is uh, on that Mega, now, Supreme is not doing too well right now. He's just keeps on falling down. Does have a little bit of a stack. He does manage to fall down. That's gonna annoy him a little bit. But 100 health, 43 armor be all he needs for the moment. Reload though is waiting for that Mega. He's got your standard set up here. 100-100 on this absolutely classic map. On standby. He's got the yellow. He'll have to make his way towards the Mega. It's not going to happen. We'll have to put a red instead. Reload will be coming there very, very quickly. A rocket already comes in. A Supreme is out of there. Is on his way towards. No, he's actually going to come around and get that shaft in there. He went all the way back towards the uh, towards the LG spawn, and there he is trying to come up. He's going to go for that red, uh, for that yellow. My apologies. Reload won't have the opportunity to do anything about that. If you go up that jump pad and there's already somebody there with that rocket, you're not going to live very long. Now at this point, Supreme is still in the lead, but not by much. That Mega is going to be claimed once again by Reload. That's the fourth Mega in a row. And as well as the Red, he is stacked. He has he has all the tools in the world that he needs <laughs> to, uh, to to well, wipe the floor with Supreme. Even though that uh, even those uh, bunny hops did not end up too well. Rudy 2. This is once again all about juggling the items here on DM6, the campgrounds. Reload once again. It's, it's it's interesting to see how Supreme is uh, just trying to get his playstyle going on. It's you constantly see a reload just sitting on the uh, the spawn areas of uh, of the items and then running away. And Supreme is coming in from above. He's really trying to maintain his composure, but doesn't going to match be enough for composure though. As uh, reload comes up with the shotgun, takes Supreme down on the respawn. Though he comes in with the plasma, trying to take the reload down. Reload is low and. Supreme picks it up once again. That plasma was enough, and that's exactly the same thing that he did four kills ago when uh, he was taken down by Reload. Well, I had the respawn on towards the red. It was about to come up. Picked up that plasma. It's right around that area. Unleashed the fury. And, uh, well, Reload find, found himself without any help. And that's twice in a row this happened. And we'll have to adapt towards the situation because he will try it again. Five minutes remaining in this matchup. Reload's uh, aim is uh, quite good. He's got that shaft going on quite nice, although that is, once again, going to annoy him on that jump pad. He tried to go for the rocket jump and did not work. It's a good thing there's a lot of health sitting around here. It's 100 there. 
As uh, the red is about to come up. Where's reload? He's coming in from above. Oh, Supreme did not see that one coming. Rocket's coming in. As now reload has the height advantage, comes in and <laughs> managed to shoot himself in the foot. And as uh, Supreme does manage to pick up the red. And the Mega is coming up now, but uh, Supreme is leaving it for what it is. And reload is going to pick it up. That could cost him the game right there. Not picking up the not picking up the mega at that point could be very very problematic. And now reload is just running around picking up the rockets. Oh, he's being pushed towards the air by Supreme. Supreme trying to go in and picks up the kill. Comes out of nowhere on towards that red armor. Supreme picks it up once again. Five to four. DM six. And oh dear God. Supreme just comes around on towards that yellow in that jump pad. There's so many ver there's so many versions of this map over various games and they're all spread out but they all have one thing in common that that particular jump pad generally means death against supreme with that shaft his aim is not as good as the reload reload's being pushed back a little bit has to go with that plasma shaft is still being coming out there and that plasma is a little bit too much as reload tried to go for the red but it wasn't gonna be scores are tied six to six uh, we had an inverse situation there that was good. That was good. It's uh, both players are having difficulty getting ahead once they finally have a, uh, a kill down. Uh, Supreme is just dancing all around the map. He did get the red. Oh, nice, nice done by reload there. He knew exactly where Supreme was going to be. And Supreme's timing was excellent because he got the mega on that part. The yellow's up. Supreme knows that he's got only have two, only has two minutes and 50 seconds to, to go. So he needs to start getting armor as well as health. 130 health, 29 armor for Supreme. Reload's not doing all that well. 74 he does have that rail, and with that ET, with that ET aim, he will be able to use that rail quite a lot. But should not rely on it too much. Here we go. That's a miss. Still relying on his rockets and his shaft. And he will be picking up the red. Now he, this is this is all his setup, ready to ready to go. And if he can deny the yellow, he will be in a good position to take down reload. Reload far away. Both players know that they have not much of a chance to take each other down. One rocket coming in. Supreme trying to take it in. And there he comes. The Supreme picks up the kill. Reload did not have much help at that point. He needed to. Take that down. We got still on the respawn though. He did get the mega. That was a that was a, that was a good respawn, but he needs to get out of there before that plasma comes in. Supreme has that lead. And when you have that lead, you are on hard ground, but here comes Relo trying to come in, pushes him off. Off the rocket spawn. Is going for that red. We'll have to be quick. Here we go. One, two. Not going for oh dear, that yeah, that's gonna cost him. Yeah, now no, he's lost us. No, oh, no, yeah, here we go. Yeah, he, he he tried to go for the yellow, did not have his timing correct. He did not know the mega was up. And Supreme went in, grabbed that mega, pushed that rocket in towards the reloads back, and that was that. Supreme picks up the kill. One minute remaining. Eight to six. We have the campgrounds. So we continue here from the first fire. Intel Challenge. As, uh, Supreme is just solidifying his lead, 9 to 6. His, uh, the dance continues. Sadly enough, it does look like Relo does not have much to dance for anymore. As, uh, he's slowly trying to get in position. He does have the Mega. His timing was nigh immaculate. As, uh, don't go up that jump pad. Don't, don't, no, no, yeah, let's see, that's what happens. Was, uh, <laughs> they, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw, oh, yeah, that didn't, no, that didn't end up very well. As up, uh, the reload falls down. Yep, here we go, reload, go calls for the good game. We're going to go on towards the next map. We're going to go on to ZTN, or as my colleagues from the United States call it, ZTN. But then again, they don't speak proper English. Here we go, Supreme picks up the first map on DM6. And move on towards the next one. And there we go, just... Reload just constantly trying to rely on that rail does not do very well for him, even though Twitch Gaming from ET does help in that extent. Uh, 
apparently it did not help this round. Then again, this map is is very very wide. You have a lot of space to move around uh, to move around and try to get your aim in. And now we're going on to ZTN, and that's a completely different ball game altogether. Crammed spaces, a lot of jumps. Two yellows, one red, one mega, and a lot of ammo standing between, well, Supreme and Victory at this point. As, uh, although even though Z ZTN was picked by Reload, so he probably has a good chance to win this. Three, two, one. As we're on our way, on the spot. Let's see what we got here. Red for Supreme. As Reload. Oh, Supreme has both the red and the mega. That's going to be problematic, even though he already gets the uh, rockets in a feet and the shaft is coming out. Reload is a spam and the rockets on the corridor. He needs to, if he can chase now, that'd be good for him. Reload is doing well. There we go. Picks up the first, picks up the kill as Reload goes for one to zero. Supreme coming in. He's on the respawn. He knows that Reload is probably a little bit low. Use that, use that pistol, but it's not going to be enough. Reload just sits behind the corner, picks up another kill with a shotgun. Supreme trying a little bit too hard there. Just trying to feel his way in towards victory. And it did not happen. 2 to 0 in favor of reload. And remember, this is his map pick. That shaft. Health wise, both players are in an interesting position. Supreme just trying to deny that red. Red is just being felt down by that uh, Supreme thing out by the Mega. He's waiting for it to go. Waiting for it to go. More should be enough. As <laughs> Reload sitting up by the red. Waiting for that real. He knows he's up there. Did he miss? No, he did. As Reload managed to pop off the shot. And Supreme has to backtrack and get that Mega right away in order to uh, get out of that situation with a little bit of health. And that's exactly what he did. 109, 43. A little bit of stack. And that is all his armor gone. Reload will be able to spam him down. And there he goes. Picks up another kill. 3 to 0 for Reload. As the uh, oh, the painted winner of this tournament is not doing too well here on ZTN. Once again, waiting for that Mega. As, uh, Supreme is doing exactly what he needed to do. Wait with that rail. Wait for uh, Reload to show his face. And pound it away. And go for the yellow. As he should. There it is. Oh, hello there! As uh, <laughs> Reload comes out of nowhere. I don't think Supreme really saw him coming out of there. As he was a little, a little bit fixated on towards the red area. And suddenly, there is Reload. Did not manage to do anything with that, though. But nice try nonetheless. And there we go again. Supreme trying to go in with the shaft. Reload coming in with the rockets. One, two, three. Supreme is down. Minus one as he suicides on, him, on himself with the rockets. Three to minus one for Supreme with seven minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Supreme, though, does finally manage to get some of the armor as well as some shards. And now he has to pull himself together and trying to get toward a position where he can do something with Reload here because, of course, so far, the strategy of Reload is working too very well. Although, Supreme just managed to fall down, but Reload has the upper advantage. He has the high ground. And the axis towards the uh, towards the red. Is he going to go for the jump? He could be going for it. There's Supreme coming out of the teleporter. There's the red. That's his reward. And the Mega's going to split. Oh, just too late as well. As Supreme tried to go in there. Did not, was not enough. As now Reload is completely raging him. Five to minus one. <laughs> as Reload just keeps on pounding in with the rails. As, uh, he tries but fails to connect with those rockets. One part stack, one part luck on that perspective. Find a little bit of armor to down, for, down for reload. All Supreme would need to do now is do a little bit of plasma. And Supreme is actually in a better position now. 82 to 123. That's a significant stack considering that reload does not have any armor whatsoever. And now he just got railed as well. This could be painful. Misses this <laughs> the counter. He's waiting for that teleporter. Not gonna happen. Oh, as Reload as, as Supreme is comes in from behind with the rockets. Need to watch out that he doesn't get tricked. And he didn't. Does manage to pick up the red. And he's out of there. And this is a uh, this has turned in this has changed from a fast game of 
well, a fast game in general to a game of cat and mouse. And they're just running circles ar uh, around one another, just waiting for the other party to make a mistake. Supreme, though, look at that stack. Now that is something to be, uh, be very, very uh, jealous of if I was reload. Because he's not doing too well on the health and the health wise. Then again, he is six points ahead. But this is ZTN. It could change at any moment. And that's not gonna work either, Supreme. And he needs to do something with that stack. Five it's just waning away, and he's got five minutes to actually do something with that. And Reload just comes around the corner with that rail and pounds it away. And it's just Supreme is not really doing anything. He's just sitting there with a lot of health, a lot of armor. Just not doing anything. Five minus one. Supreme with the rail on the on the teleporter towards that red. Red is gonna spawn any minute now. As uh, reload comes in from behind, the Supreme comes in. The rockets come. We see a juggle. No, it's not gonna happen. As Supreme does manage to pick up the red, here comes the shaft, and it's not gonna be enough. As reload comes in, picks up the uh, shaft, and gets the kill. It doesn't matter how much armor you have. If you have only three health, you're going to die to that shaft. Far too much DPS right there. Six health, minus one. Six, health. Six to minus one, my apologies. That reload continues. Ooh, can we see a chase here? One rocket. Second connects as well. Reloads map pick ends up to be a good one so far. He has been absolutely dominating reload at every step, and it's not been so much. The, it's not been so much that reload has been playing amazingly, even though he has been playing very good. Supreme is just not feeling it right now. I think it, it's just it seems a little bit off what he's doing. He's got these. He's getting these stacks, and he's just. Sitting idly, just trying to deny reload the the spawns, but it's difficult in ZTN. You got those two yellows. There's a lot of stuff to deal with, and then he keeps on missing rails like that. And yeah, then and then it's easy for reload just to come around. That's when frustration starts to kick in, as reload just has his fourth rail in a row coming out. <laughs> Supreme asks, "What the hell? What the hell kind of shoes you have there, reload?" Looks like they are dancing shoes. As uh, Reload is just... Yeah, Re Supreme calls good game. We're going to go off towards the third map. Both sides have won their perspective maps. As, uh, it's going to be a... Well, it's going to be a toss-up of what's going to be the final map. I'm personally going to guess it's going to be J13. So the game has been forfeited. As uh, Reload picks up the game. And Supreme, well, loses ZTM. The maps that were that were disabled for this match were T9 and DM13. Let's see what the other maps in the map pool are at this point. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on there. As uh, we have, Vote now. we're going to be playing Vote seven. Cast. We're going to be playing Tourney Seven. T7, it is. It was, uh, we were getting out of the way, and like I said just now, it's, it, it is it is difficult to maintain your composure when you're trying to win a game that has a lot of uh, a lot of stakes on it, especially this particular cup because there's 1,500 euros worth of hardware to be won. First place gets a uh, a Intel i7 processor worth one a grand. Number two comes over with a Intel uh, Intel i7 processor worth. 500 euros as I understood. But we're coming in. Welcome to T7. As Reload Three, doesn't know this two, map, and neither does Supreme. One. You should have watched the Hang and Rafa the other day because they did they did know the map. And so we are on our way. Supreme is fine trying to figure out where everything is. And Supreme, you lied. You are a dirty liar, Supreme. You do not know this map. Yeah, that that means that uh, that makes uh, that, that's why you have the the red as you well as the mega me. right now, and he picks up the first kill as Reload is just really not sure what the hell is going on. He's going in for a second one. No, he's not. As reload keeps the height advantage. Tries to get those rockets in. Ooh, Reload, he probably be a good idea to get out of there. Yeah. Ooh, 
no, that's that is a bad part place to be. Does manage to disconnect from the battle. Leave Supreme for what he is. And Supreme has now got map control. Mega picked up. So Red is just about to come in as well. There is reload, and he's already bouncing up and down on the rockets. And this is a completely different ball game from ZTN. This is far more like DM6. A lot of open areas, no small corridors, and not a lot of area to get your splash on using the rockets. Although at this point, both sides are just feeling each other out, and Supreme is just sitting on the mega spawn. I don't even think I don't even think that reload knew what was going on there. That it was a red sp uh, that it was a mega spawn going on there because you really want to push the opponent off that platform. It's about two inches wide, and you just stand on it with one t one, one tippy toe to wait for that mega to, to spawn. You just you, th you throw a rocket in that general direction, and they'll just bounce off the platform. That's that's kind of the idea behind it is, you know, not just waiting, waiting for those rockets to connect. I'm not gonna help, as he picks up the 50 regardless. I guess coming there, Supreme kind of out of TP. There is the Mega, who does get connected. Reload is starting to learn. Scores are still a little bit tame. 1 to 0. T7. Supreme is out of there. At the stack, he had the health, but Reload has doesn't have any of that. As this, this point, he needs to watch out. Here comes the shotgun. It's not going to be enough. As uh, Supreme whips out the rockets, shoots them in towards the fate of Reload. Freight that uh, Reload will have to go towards the hospital and get a pair of new legs. Reload once again, trying to rely. Ooh, that was a nice one. Out of the teleporter, as uh, Supreme knew exactly where Reload was going to be. Here comes the shaft as well. Waits for Reload to show his face. There he is. As, uh, he just stands idly by and waits for Reload to shoot him. That was probably not the best thing he could have done. Uh, now he's just pushed him in the corner. There we go. Three to zero for Supreme. Inside that alcove, waiting for those items to spawn. And, it and, and the problem, the problem with this is though, is like unlike in DM6, if you spawn something, you won't have the opportunity to actually uh, quickly run over towards the other side of the map and take down the opponent because generally out of the, uh, out of the ending of a fight, the opponent will have not that much help anymore. Supreme having an easy time there just to juggle reload around. Three re three missiles make, make everything work. Reload gets taken down again. Oh, Supreme, what are you doing? Reload. Standing by. And this is the bit where the great gamers shine, where they adapt to what situation. One rocket would be enough, it's not going to be enough. The Supreme picks up yet another one, 6-0. to zero. It is a complete opposite game of what we saw. <laughs> Supreme is actually getting the gauntlet out. He's trying to go for the humiliation. And just trying to get the damage in. Reload is already out of there. He, he can get away. Ooh, that's a risky situation right there on the jump pads. It's not going to be enough. As Supreme walks away, um, completely and utterly unscathed. And, this, and the reload has to pay with his life just because of that. 8 to 0. Favor of Supreme. T7 has not been a good ordeal so far for reload. And he will most likely drop down towards the lower brackets in this Quake Live tournament. Those that uh, have missed the previous matchup of Quake Live that we did yesterday, check that out at quadv.com and also at YouTube. For the link, just uh, check out quadv.com and also on Crossfire and you. Five minute warning. As at this point, Supreme is not even trying anymore. He's got a stack beyond belief, and Reload finds himself pinned in, and the rockets keep on coming in. As Reload keeps on finding himself between a rock and a hard place, not being able to do much. Though now he's a little bit low. Doesn't matter though, as the rail finish off what he started. 11 to 0. And it does it does appear that Reload does not know this map whatsoever. He 
these two guys were, ah, here we go, Relo goals good game, this is over. As uh, Supreme manages to win the match here on the Quake Live Tournament, we'll move on towards the next round in the upper bracket, and well, Relo dropping down towards the lower brackets.